Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kirov Academy's virtual classroom. I'm the school director. My name is Ren Chao Du. Today, with our beautiful accompanist, Madam Regina Martin, once again, both of us are going to give you a ballet class. It's going to be a around 45 minute ballet bar. Thank you again for joining in, and uh, let's start. Fifth position, first half reverence for the ladies, second half for gentlemen. First combination, two hands on the bar, warm up. Hold you to the side first. We do second, first, second, first, second, dear one with the plea at the head. Come back to second, in. One and two and three and four to the back. Five and six, seven and eight. Continue on. Once again, two, three and four, five, flex six, seven, open eight, pull the bar forward, pull the bar back. Continue left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, back, six, seven, eight. Forward, back, return to the bar. Balance. Nice and easy first combination, but really feel the articulation relationship with the floor. The bottom of your feet relaxed, then engage when you point. Preparation.
Let's start with plie, um, to, um, left hand on the board preparation. We do two demi plie, two, three, and four. Grand plie, six, seven, eight. Arm from the side to third. And two, a lift higher, pull the bra forward, four, five, and six. Arm leg together, second position. One, two, three, four. Grand plie, six, seven, eight. Second, travel to third, lift, pull the bra back, all the way up, second, to fourth position. Same thing, we do one, two, three, four, ground plie, six, seven, eight, inside arm, reach back, swing back, pendu, fifth. Two to me, one ground, relevé, forward, back and finish. Yeah, slow enough, just follow me. Couple things, arm, when you plie, the second position, go with the hand, go with the leg. Don't stay where it is, you see? Second position, plie, plie, elange out. Okay, very simple, but very clear. Preparation. Make sure when you do the knee plie is absolutely the deepest. Especially fifth position. Make sure both heels absolutely on the ground. Actually, you're pressing down into the ground even harder when the knee over the toes. Because very easily you just come up just a little bit. This is not a good situation when you come to jump. Yeah, really make sure. Beautiful cross fifth position. Heels down. Left side.
still tongue from fifth position. We do. Do and one and two and three and four. Now come back. Five, six, seven, eight. So repeat forward and back. Then we do. And one and two. Repeat. Three and four. Fifth, fifth, clear up to the back. One, two, one, two, three. Two, two, one, two, three. And scrape the floor. You see my foot like that. Two. You do. One, two, and three, four. Now you fifth, fifth, plie, open. One, two, three, four, arabesque. Six, seven, eight, day rear. One, two, three, four, head, shoulder, chin. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Front, two, three, four. Day one, two, three, four. Day rear, two, three, four and finish. So, I call it, you have to make a decision from one egate to the other. Everything has to happen once. I'm here. Next thing I do, there. You see? Everything has to happen once. Second thing, look at the toes. Look at my, pay attention to my toes. My toes doesn't go up. My toes go that side. You see? See again. You see that? Squeak like that. Okay? All right. Let's go to it, please. From Egate Devon, watch my left hand, the hand that's on the bar. Yeah? Now watch, when I change to Egate Derrier, I move significantly from one spot to the other to facilitate a move. Oftentimes, we think about the head, shoulder, arm, everything. We forgot about that hand that is on the bar. So what happened is this. You see? You see the shoulder? Arm, supported position. And the first thing, you have to move as well. Two, you see, just glide forward. 
Come back, bring your hand back. Move accordingly. Left. centralized. My mind and body already feel constructed and centralized, which is what we want. Let's do jete. We do. Repeat front and side. Fifth, fifth, PK, PK, in. Sa. Two, PK, PK, in. One, and two, Envelope three and four, five and six, seven and eight. Back to bottom of your bottom. Sounds very funny, but think about it. The bottom of your bottom, right here, has to have a crease, has to have an angle. Not the whole thing in the diagonal, no. Push forward. One, two, up, up, in. Side, two, up, up, in. One, and two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three. Plie, passe. Have a little balance. Make sure your supporting half are totally square. Shoulders down, elbow up, left hand right in front of your stomach. Not over, not enough. Right in front. Pass it turned up at once. Ready? You have it? Let's go over one more time. Fifth, fifth, up, up, in. Fifth, fifth, up, up, in. One, two, three. Okay, then the whole thing reverse. Preparation.
that's why daily ballet class is important for us and for you. People who understand ballet technique and found that helpful in our daily lives. When I do PKs, I tell you, all my questions, uncertainty, even frustration, guess where I put those energy? Watch PK, you see? One, two, three. Put the energy into your body. Release and improve. Left side. And also joy. This is also joy, you see? Something happy for you to express with your body. I consider myself lucky to have an outlet to express my feelings. Left side. guys it's around the jump let's do it. after preparation we do one and two and three open shoulders four again and six seven and eight once again one and two and 45 degrees three and four three and four and five and six seven eight back to position position one two position position one Two, plie, to 45 degrees. And releve, second, front, in. Open, circle, two, three, close. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, passe, out of two, front. Right heel forward, beautiful elongé. And we finish there. Okay? It's slow enough, just follow me. Pay attention to my positions and musicality, especially where my arm head is and where the shoulder is. Okay?
good. Very last step, the elongé. Everybody look, I'm gonna break down a little bit for you. Assuming you turn out in other two position, when you go to elongé, you must not stretch, stretch your knee by pushing down. Once again, not that. I do opposite. I lift my knee, then the foot follow. I go like that and that. What you don't want to do is down and up. Okay, remember that. Same thing goes to the back. The teacher asks you to elongate to the back, same thing. You lift, then the foot. You should never do downward circle. Left side. Good, okay. Everybody good? All right. Let's do fondue. We do. Let's open with you. One, arm to the side. One and two, three and four. Now change back to three relevé four. On fast. One and two, three and four and five, six, seven, eight. Um, seven, eight. Only down. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. On fast. One, two, three, four and front side back brush finish so we do the on the on the on one side then we'll go to the left before we uh, stop before we go to the left side fondue front fondue push down now watch the change I'm gonna using those toes right there to scrape the floor and to now I'm gonna use those toes, scrape the floor. Three and four and five, six, seven, eight, on the down. Okay? Let's try it, please. Fondue. Preparation when you come up, you open to F us. Okay, please?
very good. I found um, the fondue part, two parts, down and up. For me, up is easy, it's simple. Push down, extend the foot. It's the down part you need to pay attention. The quality, the value of fondue is in the first place, in the first half of the step. Now watch, look at my foot. It's not just easy, my foot. You see? Scrape, two quick peel position, very clear. Right away. While you're doing this, the supporting knee over those toes. Simultaneously, one, you see? And it's initiation, continue to melt. It is not initiate position, no. Initiate, continue to melt. Then at the bottom of it, it's time to come up. It doesn't stop at the bottom of the plie. It is not stop. It is continuation, then you come up. Resist, then you come up. Left side. Good job, guys. Let's do it. Frappe goes like this. On relevé, yeah? Right away. We do front, two, side, side, side. Back, two, side, side, side. And a one, two. And a three, four. And a five, six. Seven, eight. Back, two, side, side, side. Front, two, side, side, side. And a back, and a front, and a side. PD bottom up, all to the back. Seven, and a eight. And finish. Make sense? Remember, accent out, two, three, Back, two, three, head down. Two, this is important. Everything has to come up at once. And the back, up. And the side, up. One, two, three, four, five. Back, two, side, 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 okay? All right. Ready?
OK. The front leg, especially to the side, pay attention to my knee. My knee is being lifted by invisible strength. It doesn't allow me to go down. So the knee is here, the foot goes out, out, out. So keep in mind, it's not down, it's out. So I don't want you to do down, down, down. It is out, out, out. The difference in quality. Take a deep breath. All students are wearing masks all day long. All day long. Sometimes they have three hour, two and a half hour ballet classes. I have to tell you, it's challenging just by doing that myself. It's not an easy task. Because it simply reduced the oxygen coming into your system. Do you see every time I inhale, my mask is stuck to my mouth. So we are going to be so strong after this thing's off. As a teacher, I try to do this so I can understand what the students are going through. It's helpful for us to know that. Good. All right. Let's do adagio, please. Let's do. Develop the vent. Passe arabesque. Passe écarté derrière. Tombe pas de bourrin. Add it to. Elongé. Watch. One movement. You see, so simple, nothing else. After a lunge, down to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, arms stay. One and two, lift. Three and four. Cross your arabesque to the left side. Five, lower your heel gently. Ponche. Up and finish. Once again, develop it, do one forward, passe, second arabesque, passe, écarté derrière. Head would be in there in tendu combination. Now I lift, I fall. Coup de pied, not carelessly. Coup de pied, and down, add it to, allonge. Fifth back. The whole thing reverse goes back, front, devant, four, and the PK, heels down, continue ponche forward, tendu, and finish. And we rest for a second. Go to the left side. All right, guys. Let's go to it.
The second half is challenging. By the time you try to do the second half, your body is like this. But we got through it. How was for you? It's okay? This combination really is about Ekate, Derriere, and Devon. Throughout the class, we've been talking about it. In a diagonal, change PK. In the diagonal, change PK. Left. guys. Okay. Let's do ground ball one. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. Second, two, three, four. Inside. If I say the one, one, two, three, four. Outside. Can't do. And five. And six. And seven and eight. Only the one. Quick, energetic up. Controlled resist down. Three, four. Second head, two, three, four. Change. In two, three, four. And change the accent. In, out. In, out. Okay. All right. So front side, inside front. Then tendu, fifth. Ground bottom onto the side. Don't do fit. Ground bottom onto the side. Reverse the whole combination. Okay. Let's go. Fifth position. Actually, my breathing feel better. There was one point after frappe, it was kind of rough. But you see, your body regularly to it. Your body will make adjustments to your need. So it's okay. It's okay, I feel better now, actually. Okay, left.
have to tell you, this music, she is, she understands my body by looking at me. She slowed down a little bit. She knows I need that little break there. I'm talking about half second, not even one second. Still kept the musical integrity. But she gave me the support when she see me tired. She gives me encouragement. That's what music does to dance. It's not she for me, no. It's her art to mine. Dance and music work together to become something so extraordinary. It's like a you and I. We work together to create something so extraordinary, some energy, some connection that I don't even see you. So, I appreciate it very much. Let's continue. Let's continue to work, okay? Let's go reverence. One question? How do you make sure we're practicing effectively and in the right way uh, to improve the How do you improve our This is a very good question. It's a big question, but I want to tell you one word is very important. Consistency. Consistency. In the vigor and commitment in which you dedicate it to the exercises. Not even for the career, not even I'm going to be a ballerina, I'm going to be a professional dancer. That's a long range goal. The short range goal is maintain a consistency in your commitment, your physical and emotional commitment to something you believe. All this information is available to you at our Facebook, social media Facebook platform. Everything is there, the wealth of information. If you take the time, you just take out one class, you do that class, listen to everything the teacher said in that class, truly understand that. Then you pick another class for the second week, you do the same. Just like we eat, you chew the food, then you swallow the food, then your body will absorb the nutrient. Consistency in commitment and beliefs to something that you love. I think it's going to help you philosophically, but I think in actual practice really going to work in terms of consistency. That's what classical art needs. It will not happen overnight. It wouldn't happen next week. It wouldn't happen next month. It takes a lot of time in order for your body to have the revelation moment understand just the fifth position, how everything feels when I stand at fifth position. Take time. That's the, off, that's the advice I can offer to you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.